guys, it's Emmeline. So it is officially September, which means it is time to start with the ball cupcakes. And I'm really excited to start this. I know you guys have been waiting patiently for this. So I thought I would start off with a bang and we would go with some Starbucks pumpkin spice latte cupcakes. A lot of you guys have been asking for um, pumpkin cupcakes, which I actually did last year. So I will um, leave a link down below for those. But these are going to be the Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. And I'm really, really excited for these cupcakes. So if you guys want to learn how to make these, then just keep watching. So to start this off, we'll be adding in one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of cinnamon, and four tablespoons of espresso powder. We'll also be adding in three cups of flour, and now we can take a whisk and mix this together. So now in a separate bowl, we can add in two cups of brown sugar. You guys can either use light or dark. I used a mixture. And we'll also be adding in one cup of vegetable oil. I'm just taking my whisk and mixing these together and making sure that there are no clumps of the sugar in the mixture. To this, we can add in two eggs and just keep mixing it and making sure that the clumps are getting out. One teaspoon of vanilla. So now we can add in three cups of pumpkin and once you add in the pumpkin, it will really help to dissolve any of the sugar clumps that may still be left over. So you just want to whisk this really well and make sure that everything is incorporated and as you guys can see, it is now very smooth. So now we can add our pumpkin mixture into our dry ingredients and it's not necessary to use a handheld mixer for this. You guys can just use a whisk. So I just have my tin lined with these gold wrappers that I got from Michaels and the oven to be preheated to 350 degrees and these will bake probably for about 18 to 20 minutes and what's cool about these cupcakes when they bake they actually kind of like stay in the shape that they are right now they don't really like flatten out like other cupcakes do. So now for the frosting, I'm just taking a stick of butter and as you guys can tell, it's really soft because it's a really hot day today. Um, I'm also just adding in one stick or eight ounces of cream cheese and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we can take our mixer and just whisk this together and now we can take our powdered sugar. We're going to be adding in about three cups total, but I just like to add in a little bit at a time and just keep blending it until it is the perfect consistency. So for this, I'm just using a Wilton 2D tip and we can create a classic swirl. To top the cupcake off, I'm just sprinkling some cinnamon on both of the cupcakes. And I also wanted to add on some caramel sauce to it so you guys can either make it or you guys can just use um, like the Hershey's one that's in the container like I did. This wouldn't be a Starbucks cupcake without putting a straw on the side. So I decided to go with the orange one since it was a pumpkin cupcake. And I do have so many other Starbucks cupcakes that you guys can try out so I will leave them at the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy learning how to make these cupcakes. And definitely send me a picture if you guys do recreate them to either my Instagram or Twitter, which um, I will have linked down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, and thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!